Kong. I'm scared there. I think we lost her. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we literally yeah. had to walk through a tiny fruit crossing. How do I look? <laughs> no, it's okay. No, no, no. It's okay. 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 Today I'm in the city of Ramallah and normally I would say that I wouldn't know necessarily where to go here but I'm joined with my beautiful yeah. friends here. Thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna walk around, we're gonna explore, we're just gonna discover Ramallah and along the way yeah. do the first ever full on ultimate food adventure here. <laughs> ah, it's very good. Falafel. Ah, falafel. Falafel and uh, bread. Okay, cool. This is a big falafel. <laughs> big falafel. Ah, wow. Natural. Nice food. Yeah. Nice food. How do you how do you call it? I had sukkar and samna. Ah, you can eat it. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh, fresh. So nice. Yeah, it's fresh. It's hot. Yeah. Wow. Mm. So fresh. This is a maftul. Maftul. Couscous. Wow. This is Zetab. Ah, it's natural. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Zetab. Oh man. There's nothing like Zetab. Like. Mm. Natural. So natural. natural. Yeah. We haven't even moved one street and people are bringing samples up to us of Zatad. Everybody's showing us their products here. Ah, thank you. Mm, very good. Okay, so Hussein's grandparents say the first thing we have to start off with is not a food but the fresh natural drinks. First one is haru, which is possibly, sorry? Haru, 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 okay, yeah. And it's definitely the coolest way I've ever seen somebody pour a drink. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. It's too much sweet. It's too much sweet? <laughs> it's basically tamarind and sugar mixed together. And the next two are things I know already, but they come from different sorts of fruit. Not too much. Don't drink too much and buy it. Going. Oh, wow. It's so sweet. <laughs> too much sweet. It has, you know, that, that tamarind taste at like the base of it. Basically, if you get a haru, think about it like you're drinking a more liquidy syrup. Oh, you got another drink? <laughs> If I if I look away, you're getting something more for me. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'll take the carrot to, to balance the yeah to balance the sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yes. Hi. How are you? Yes. Yeah. I love to cook. Actually. Ah. Yes. Oh. Cool. Really? 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 <laughs> enjoy it here. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. I. I love it so far. This is a gift from Austria. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Shukra. It, huh? Yeah. Thank. You. Wow. It's so nice. I mean, we're just walking through the streets and just getting called into different businesses, and people are literally just giving us stuff. <laughs> Wow. wow, looking around, this is a bakery, but it looks like an adaptation of a grandma's kitchen. Everywhere you look, there's just these massive trays of different cookies. And to be honest, I haven't really seen any of these before. So I'm gonna go with the most special one named Katai. It honestly has like the sense of being both a pancake and a massive sugary dumpling. Supposedly there's different things that go into the Katai. Sometimes there's almonds, sometimes there's cheese. What do you think? Cheese or almond? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. It's up for... Almendra, almendra. But, but guess, guess. Cheese. Cheese? Okay. Almendra. Okay, almendras. Okay, let's see. I say... <laughs> <laughs> cool, so I have a uh, one that's just chock full of that cheese mm. right there, and it's just absolutely oozing wow. out of there. Mmm. Alright, so this is a dessert that I've never really tasted before, actually. It both tastes like a fried pancake just dipped in sugar, and then kind of along with that bittery, silky, almost rich taste of the cheese. 
It's so my delicious. Cheese, my cheese is my... Your cheese okay. is better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, your cheese is... <laughs> You're like, my cheese is better. <laughs> we the best! Yeah. Morning for breakfast, I had the homemade cheese that they make at their own home. No. And it was unbelievable. Yeah. My cheese is not bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love this cafe right here. <laughs> Stars and Bucks Cafe. <laughs> <laughs> the Palestinian version. <laughs> okay, so now we're at a clothing shop here because Hussein's grandfather said that I must get a traditional Palestinian wear. And what the number in large, extra large? You? Oh, uh. Medium or large? Yeah. Yeah, try, here. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. try on here. Let's see how I look here in the yeah. Palestinian wear. How do I look? <laughs> do I look good? <laughs> ah, two pence. piece, two piece. Ah, two piece, okay. <laughs> because this. Ah, so, so I have to wear pants because I'm too tall? Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. How do I look? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're Muslim. I'm Muslim. <laughs> My family in Chicago. Oh, your family in Chicago? I live in uh, California. And what is, what is the biggest difference compared to California? Oh, different. A lot. More comfortable. For the kids here, no, no, dangerous for no, the no. black. Some people take the gold and the gotcha. Yeah. So there's no crime. There's no, no, there's, no, no, there's no. little crime. More crime in California. <laughs> really? Uh, <laughs> too much. <laughs> too much crime. In yeah, that is true. Yeah, the gold is just in the window. In Everything's the, very calm. I'm scared there. <laughs> You're scared in California. Wow. Whew. Okay, now that I have my traditional Palestinian slash Muslim wear. It's time to find the next place. <laughs> wow. So I didn't even realize it, but we hadn't even entered in the actual souk yet. And we're in this tiny little alleyway here, and I've never seen people move stuff through an alleyway like this before. I think we lost her. <laughs> Every time here. Every time. Every she time. she loves the fruit, yeah. Much crazy. <laughs> very much, yeah. It's, it's very crazy. Oh. You like it? Uh, okay, yeah. Well. Harisa in Arabic. Harisa. In Arabic, Harisa. This is beautiful over here, yeah. This Kulumet in Jent. In Jent. Ah, in this, this, this guy. This Jent. Jent. Okay. Yeah. What, what is it exactly? Yes, it's beautiful. Very nice. Very nice, yeah. Should be noted that this is only one shed. Now, we're supposedly making our way to a restaurant now, so I have to eat this on the move. But it looks to be kind of like a cake soaked in honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is everything a dessert should be. Sure, it's sweet, but this thing has character to it. At first you're hit with sweetness that tastes almost like nectar with subtle hints of a nutty flavor. And then over every other flavor, you taste the different seasonings on them. And like I said, I don't know this pastry too well, but the seasonings just jump out here. There's cinnamon and cardamom lining the outside there. And then when you put that all together with like kind of that squishy, almost nutty texture, whoo! It's incredible. Let me tell you, when you're walking through alleyways of fruit, it, it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have arrived to a restaurant that can only be defined as a hole in the wall. This place is in the back of the souk in the corner here. Like we literally had to walk through a tiny fruit crossing. But supposedly they have the best hummus, they have the best full, and this is one of the best like local spots here in Ramallah. Oh, oh man. Okay, so sitting in front of us here, we have a mixture of hummus, ful, and sapa, and a tomato dish. Thank you. So we're gonna use the hot bread over here and enjoy this. Oh, I am so excited to taste it. This is this is amazing right here. It's a mixture of hummus. Food, lemon, yeah. uh, garlic, mm -hmm. and lemon, yeah, 
I have never tasted hummus like that before. <laughs> All right, it's time to make myself a sandwich here. You have a little hummus there. We take a falafel <laughs> and maybe a little bit of this. <laughs> And tomato, uh, there we go, that's a sandwich right there. My makeshift falafel sandwich. When a falafel is made well, words cannot describe how good it is. Crispiness just crunch on the outside, and the nice, moist, warm center on the inside. The first thing you have is the texture, that silky texture of the hummus. But then you're overtaken by the natural flavors of both the olive oil, the chickpeas, and also the seasoning on top of there. Wonderful. All right, perfect. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> oh. Oh. For my mom. Oh. <laughs> Literally, every time I look around, they're getting me some sort of gift for my mom or for. Oh. So, mom, you, you got a new coffee cup. Thank you so much. My mom will like it a lot. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh, guys, thank you so much for, yeah, thank you so much. Let's bring it in, yeah. Thank you so much for, for everything, for showing me around, for making me feel just so welcome here. The food, thank you so much. Yeah. You, you have to visit, yes, yes, you have to visit Chicago and New York, okay? So anyway, we're gonna head back now and just enjoy the rest of the day here. My heart's so warm, my, my belly is so full. <laughs> You're trying to give me more stuff now. <laughs> <laughs>